Welcome and thank you for watching Cooking with Ash. I hope you guys are enjoying all the amazing recipes I have been posted. If you're loving those recipes, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't liked and subscribed, what are you waiting for? Please hit the subscribe button below. I've, pre I've prepared an amazing recipe for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy it. So let's get right into the video. Hi guys, welcome back to Cooking with Ash. Hope everyone is doing great. Today I will be making my fluffy soft bakes. This has been requested by a few of my um, supporters, fans. So here you go. This is how I make my fluffy bake. So here I have some flour, baking powder, salt, sugar, butter, additional flour for dusting, and room temperature water. I don't use too cold water, not too hot, room temperature. So we're gonna begin the mixing process. Here we I'm gonna add my baking powder and salt to my flour. In goes my sugar. I'm just gonna work everything in, incorporate everything. In goes my butter. My butter is nice and soft, room temperature. It doesn't have to be room temperature, but I prefer it room temperature. Mix everything in, you have to work everything in well. Your best tools to mix everything in, your hand. Okay, and now I'm gonna start gradually add my water and form my dough. So I add some water and I'm gonna mix that in, a well in the middle and I'm just like mixing the flour around and around just to pick up the other dry flour what's your favorite thing to eat bake with mine i love it with salt fish or fry egg or i love a, a good stuff aloo bake or shrimp bake Actually, on, on this video, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do it good for you guys. I'm going to stuff some of these bakes with shrimp. So I'm going to show you the two ways of doing it. Half of just how it is, fry it just how it is, and half I'm going to stuff with shrimp. Why not make it a fun video for you guys? Give you more options. <laughs> So as you see, um, as my flour come together, you're not looking for a stiff dough or not a wet dough, like a, a very nice, soft, not too soft, not too stiff dough, not too sticky. So this is like perfectly fine. As it come together, I'm just adding, gradually adding the water and then mixing it up to form my dough. You might need more or less water depending on your flour texture, the climate you're in. So just average. And again, everything I'm using, all the ingredients along with the measurements will be listed in the description box below. And everybody have their own baked recipes and how they prepare it. This is just my version. The recipe is very similar to everyone else because there is only so much version we can have of making bake. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, bring back all my flour that I previously formed and I'm gonna combine it together. So what I'm just basically doing, I'm picking up from the bottom, pulling it up over, and I'm kneading it. And if it gets a little bit too sticky, you can always dust some flour on it. And this is a little bit too sticky right there for me, so I'm just gonna dust.
I'm just kneading it well. Getting my daily arms workout. <laughs> that's that's how it should look guys so i'm gonna let let this rest for about 25 to 30 minutes then i'm gonna come back and show you guys how we fry up our bake and like i promised we're gonna do half stuff with shrimp and half fry as it is so i'm gonna come back and show you guys that. guys what i went ahead and did i get a warm paper towel with some warm water on it squeeze it out and i cover my bake to let it rest and rise for 20 to 30 minutes so I'm gonna come back and show you guys what it looks like make sure you do this step because you don't want your bake to get um to be like out in the air and the air start drying it up as promised I'm doing the filling now for the shrimp bake so these are the ingredients I'm using nothing not a lot of ingredients very simple the bake already have a lot of flavor to it we just need to flavor the shrimp a little bit so I have here some scallion some onion some cilantro and my um green seasoning and I have here about a half a pound of shrimp. So I have my oil heated in those are ingredients. And I want a quick fry on my shrimp. Um, I am like just looking for it to saute up with these ingredients. Not like cook, 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 overcook because um, I'm gonna further cook it down in the bake. It's gonna cook in the bake further down like steam in the bake. So I'm looking for a quick sear to it and a quick cooking process. In goes the shrimp. And I'm not adding no salt to this. Because my bake already has some salt and sugar. I don't want to overpower anything. I want everything to blend in very nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and cook this down for a minute or two. I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like. This is what my shrimp look like after I cook it. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to transfer it to my food processor. And I just want to chop this up. So I'm going to chop it up and come back and show you guys what a consistency it I'm looking guys, for. This is what my shrimp look like after I pulse it in my food processor like a few times. Pulse it up to um, get it to this consistency. I'm not looking for a paste. I'm looking for the shrimp to like just broken down a little bit. And this texture we're looking for. If you don't have a food processor, go ahead. Put it on your cutting board and take your knife and chop it as fine as you can. Um, also, another tip for this, um, you do not want too much moisture um, on your shrimp. So if it looks too wet, um, go ahead and just squeeze some of the, that juice out of it. Mine wasn't that wet, so mine is like perfect for me. I don't have to go ahead and squeeze anything. But if it's too wet and when you put it into your bake, your flour mixture, it's going to um, soften your flour more and it's going to be hard, very hard to work with. So this is what we're looking for. So we're going to go ahead now and start to assemble our bake. So guys, my flour has been resting now for about um, 25 minutes. What I went ahead and do, I went ahead and put it on my surface. So I'm just going to flour it so it doesn't stick. And now I'm going to roll it out and cut the size of bake that I'm looking for. So these are the perfect size for me. And then I'm going to roll it into a ball. So pretty much what I'm doing, I'm flouring it, put it in the palm of my hand and I'm bringing it, tucking to the middle this is what I'm doing so I'm gonna go ahead and roll out all my bake dough loy they call it roll it out and um, then I'm gonna come back and show you the frying process guys as promised I roll out all my bake and like I said I'm gonna fry some regular and some I'm gonna stuff with the shrimp fill in that I previously made so you guys can um, see how to do that um, I also went ahead and cover my bake with a damp um, paper towel because I don't want the air to dry out my um, dough. It's not gonna make it taste, um, make it cook well if it's like aired out and dry out. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do, I'm gonna roll out a regular bake and show you guys the thickness I'm looking for. I don't make my bakes big. I like them on a little smaller size. You can make it bigger if you would like. It's your preference. And this is the thickness I'm looking for, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how I fry this. Then I'm gonna come back and show you when I'm filling 
the um, shrimp bake how I fill it and how I roll it out and everything so this is the regular bake you just drop it in your oil and fry it I'm gonna come back and show you the other steps here I have about four cups of oil heating up I'm gonna go ahead and add my bake to this And you're looking for that golden brown color. I don't like to flip it too much. I just try to flip it once. Because I feel like if you flip it too much, that's when it starts to suck up the oil. And look at that. It's swelling nicely. That nice fluffy bake that we always look for. Or frying bake. So as soon as the bottom started to turn golden brown, I'll flip it on the other side. Oh, and I love it when the bake swell like that and have that little crack in it. For me, it tastes even more better. So I'm going to go ahead and let this fry here. And when I'm, I'm going to flip it and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the color we're looking for. Yes, I'm going to go ahead and flip my bake. And that's the color we're looking for. Do you see that nice golden brown color? That's what you're looking for. So I'm going to fry it, fry it on this other side until it turned that golden brown color. I'm going to take it out and drain it on a piece of paper towel I have and I'm going to come back and show you guys how I stuff my bake with the shrimp filling that I made to make shrimp bake. Guys, I'm going to show you how I fill my regular bake um, dough with our shrimp filling to make it shrimp bake. So basically I take one of the bake um, loy and I'm like flattening it out like this and I, I'm going to take my shrimp filling and add it to my bake so I put about two for my size that I made I put about two um, teaspoon fill in and this is what I'm doing I'm pressing it in with my thumb finger and I'm just gonna pinch the ends and roll it in some flour so this is pretty much how it is I'm gonna roll it out and I'm gonna fry it so when I'm ready to roll it out I'll show you guys that process basically guys I went ahead and flattened my shrimp bake and I lightly roll it out with my rolling pin. Be as gentle as possible with it. And it's the same process as the other bake. Um, we're just gonna drop it into our oil and fry it. So I'm gonna fry it up and I'm gonna come back and show you guys what both bake look like inside. So guys, here you have it, our finished bake, our regular bake and our bake that has been stuffed with shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and break into one and you see how it looks. Look how fluffy it is inside, it's soft really soft and fluffy. This is our regular bake and this is our shrimp bake. This swell nicely too, but because of the filling, it like comes like this. But do you see that? How nice the filling evenly distributed all over in our shrimp bake. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. Please like and subscribe for more amazing recipes from my kitchen to yours.